I'm in upstate New York going to a family event with my mother's side of the family. drive four hours one way. I get there a little bit early. I want to visit the cemeteries, the grave sites and such. So I go to my paternal grandfather and grandmother's cemetery in upstate New York. I had no idea where a grave was. I mean, it's been over 30 years since I've been there. I have no idea. Do you ever look out at a sea of gravestones and you're like, oh shit, how am I going to find this? I don't remember a thing. I came up there specifically to pay my respects and it was hard. It was hard. I was already tearful as it was. So I'm driving around, you know, like the roads in the cemetery are kind of like gravel roads. And I'm just about in tears, just about in tears. Because I can't, I just can't believe that I, that I can't find it. I, for some reason, I just thought it would be easy to find. In the road, there is a, uh, a bunch of dark purple flowers. And I stop the truck, I get out, and I pick up these dark purple flowers. They were fake flowers. I thought they were real, that's why I stopped. And I thought, well, they must have blew off of someone's grave. Just minutes before, I said, Grandpa, can you help me find you? Help me find you. I get out of the car, I pick up the purple flowers, and I look like this, and I see a gravestone with the same purple flowers on it. There's like a row of stones. And the last one in that row had purple flowers. And I just went over to put the purple flowers back on that grave. Obviously the wind had blown them off. Someone had visited the grave. What do you know? It was my grandfather's grave. I immediately, immediately thanked God and my grandfather. And I immediately, immediately, the tears just like started pouring out. My face is soaking wet which was indicative of I needed to cry. That incident was the stick of dynamite that blew up the emotional log jam that was in me. And I just, at that moment, I was thanking my grandfather. Think what you want about that. You do you. And immediately thank God for that. And I just spent the next hour talking to my grandfather and grandmother. Have you ever had an incident that was just beyond explanation, that was so real and could not, like literally, there was 0% chance of that happening naturally? Put your experience down below.